What is up, everyone? Welcome to the category announcement video for Real Trivia Face Off for 2024 season. The season has wrapped up for the 2023 season, and we're looking ahead to 2024 season. And in this video, I'll be breaking down basically the categories that we are removing, categories we are adding, categories we are changing up for next season. And first things first, get it out of the way. Yes, my camera looked like shit. My camera somehow broke after the match between uh, Rachel and Steven, which was a great match, by the way. I highly recommend checking out if you haven't seen it. So yeah, I'm stuck with this shitty camera while, I, so, while I'm here right now. But that doesn't matter because you guys are not here to see me. You guys are here to see the uh, categories. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's just jump into it. So this is the 2024 RTFO category reveal category announcement upcoming news and whatnot so let's just get to it and get started on this one so what category changes are coming in 2024 i'll say quickly that this and i'm not i'm not exaggerating this this upcoming year is going to be the biggest change biggest shake up for us in terms of what categories are coming in terms of the changes that's happening in them basically it's, it's the biggest changes it's, that has happened since RTFO has started in terms of categories. And I'm pretty excited about the changes. Uh, hopefully, you guys are too. Uh, some of these announcements, uh, you guys help decide in the polls and the voting that you have done. And some of them, um, the admins, me, Andrew, Matthew, uh, Sam, and Owen, we have uh, talked about it like prior in our own meeting and decide what's best for the league. So that is the outcome that you guys are going to be seeing today. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into this. So first of all, as you all know, general category stuff, we have we kind of classify our categories into two different subgroups. The general says genre categories, the people slash filmography categories, and the franchise slash fandom categories. So I will walk through each of them and kind of like break down each of the changes that's happening for each of those subsections because we do have changes happening for each of them. So let's start with the general slash genre categories. So what categories are going away? Uh, you might have heard me mention this if you watch the Rachel versus Steven match. Period slash costume dramas. That category is going away. One of the reasons is that it's just vague. We don't really know what classifies as period costume dramas. It has been brought up in multiple matches. It's like, oh, what falls for under it? What doesn't fall under it? Even backstage and when we're writing, it's, it creates confusion. Um, and also, there's not really that much interest in that category. So we decide to remove it completely. So period and costume dramas is no longer a thing starting next year. And the next thing that is similar to Pirates as costume dramas in terms of it is a messy category that we don't know where to stop. We don't know where to start, really. Well, we know what to start, but we don't know where to stop. And it, it's like just a cluster of a mess of a category. And we are removing that category. And that is monster movies. So monster movies um, that you might know uh, consisting of like all the many monster movies and you might be watching this right now like wait what the heck that category is used a lot especially particularly uh my competitors like rachel um why is it going away well it is going away as its category however the monster movie is coming back in a different way so you might be asking well what the f is up it's monster movies then if you've seen the list of the films in the monster movies category it is probably outside of periods because it's not even I think, even think it's more than period and costume dramas. It's a total mess of a category. You got like the classic universal monsters of the Dracula, Invisible Man, all kinds of stuff. You got the kaiju creatures like Godzilla, King Kong, Cloverfield, Pacific Rim. And you got everything else like zombie film, Resident Evil, Underworld, Quiet Place, Meg, um, Gremlins, like all kinds of creatures, monsters, everything. Just a mess in this category. They are literally, the list keeps on expanding from the beginning of this year till the end of this year because it's like we don't know exactly where to stop does alien counts as monsters does um crazy um like creatures such as the thing count as monsters like there's just no kind of limit so we've decided that monster movies is no longer going to be a thing as its own category but it will be divided into two new categories under the fandom franchise banner and it is the classic universal monsters and creature features 
what this two categories entails, I will tell to you right now. So we'll start with the classic Universal Monsters category. What this is going to entail is that this is specifically to the classic Universal characters, the classic Universal Monster characters like Frankenstein, Dracula, um, the Mummy, the Invisible Man. Um, so everything from the original like 1930s stuff part of the classic universal monsters um 30 film collection which is a, which is a actual list that universal has released all this film will be in there we're removing the hotel transylvania franchise from this because it's already in, in adam sandler category animated category and it just vaguely doesn't exactly fit and then we are obviously having the Invisible Man, the newer Invisible Man, the, the Mummy, Brendan Fraser Mummy. We've got other Dracula adaptations, other Frankenstein adaptations, other Wolfman adaptation, uh, and like everything else, like Monster Squad and Van Helsing. And specifically, it's basically films that have the characters of Dracula, Mummy, Invisible Man, Wolfman, not just like the creature such as a vampire or such as a werewolf, because that just opens it up way too many so we're specifically to the iconic characters and any film that involved them and that is a classic universal monsters um by the way all of this like specific list is going to be available on our ladder box the rtfo categories ladder box and I, I will also link it in the description below but yeah this is basically what classic universal monsters category is going to look like in the fandom um franchise grouping basically and the other category is the creature features and this is where we do the kaiju stuff uh, so the godzilla stuff the king kong stuff the monster verse is mainly like kind of the subject matter of this um the toho godzilla the king kong adaptations from old and new uh, we got cloverfield uh, we got the pacific rim franchise we got the meg because we counted oh yeah that's like a big creature kind of monster and it should fall for it and the meg is a megalodon um and technically that is like a real monster there was a real creature of the past uh in prehistoric times and because of that we are basically adding a specific franchise that has been demanded by several people um that is based basically a prehistoric creature so jurassic park and the jurassic world films are in the creature features fandom grouping Aside from that, there are several one-off films as well that if we feel like fit the kaiju mold, such as Colossal, such as The Host, uh, and several others that um, I don't exactly remember right now, but it's again, we will put it in the ladder box. So this will be another fandom subgroup for uh, the creature features. So yes, monster movies is no longer a thing as a genre, but we got cl uh, classic universal monsters and creature features as two new categories coming out of it and yeah we are abolishing like all the other stuff like the resident evil stuff you're gonna find that in um in the video game movies category anyway and i thought transylvania is gonna be an adam sandler and some other stuff is already gonna be there so that is what we decided on and that is the fixed one as of now um it's not going to be changing that is the fixed category that's happening for the year up next let's go to the people slash filmography um categories and what is happening in the in that group basically so we shall start with once again what people categories are going away we do have a lot of people categories that are going away so we do have to say farewell to them um so we'll start with actors as you know we have actors and directors split up so i'll go with one by one here and with the actors we have james corden which you might already know is going away after the discussion in the, and if you're in the discord chat you saw the discussion james corden is going away and again this is decided by the admins we've decided that this category either have not enough interest or like we've uh right we've used up a big amount of it or just like it just is one of again least interesting and maybe have better options out there so we decided to get rid of it jackie chan is another category that's going away part of it is again his filmography with hollywood stuff and all the china stuff it's a lot it's modeled like what's available to be found and streaming and whatnot it just makes it too difficult so jackie chan's going away kate blanchett is going away uh, George Clooney is going away, uh, Nicole Kidman, Matthew McConaughey, Will Smith, and Julia Roberts. These eight categories are going away from RTFO. Again, like similar instance of the past, some of these categories may come back in the future, but as of now, they are gone. So all these eight categories are gone. This is the biggest group I think we've ever done in terms of removing categories. And yeah, now they're gone. You might be asking then, well, 
what categories are being added to replace these categories? There's going to be a big gap. Well, we do have several actors that we have decided that will fill in these basically replacements. And we'll start off with Andrew Garfield. He will be a new category. We got Tina Fey and Amy, Amy Poehler. The combined basically of Fey and Poehler is going to be a category on its own in this thing. Uh, we have Kira Knightley. She's going to be a new category. Margot Robbie is going to be a new category. Um, and Margot Robbie, partner in crime as Ken. Ryan Gosling is going to be a category as well. And then we have Steve Carell as a category as well. And these were the categories that the admin have decided uh, ahead of time. And we did send out a poll. Most of you voted on it. And I'll tell you this, literally, specifically for the actors, it was a very tight race. We are picking the top two. And the last two votes actually changed the winners of the outcome. Uh, and basically, it was like, it, it, it came down to the last vote. It came down to the last vote. And it was like a very tight race, literally. I think there was like a five-person race at one point. Um, but then three kind of run away with it. But yeah, a final two. And these are the two ca uh, the two actor categories that you guys have voted to be part, to be added. And the first one is Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick is going to be a category in RTFO starting next year. And the other person that is going to be added in the actor field is Paul Dano. Paul Dano will be a category as well. So once again, Andrew Garfield, Faye and Poehler, Kira Knightley, Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, Steve Carell, Anna Kendrick, and Paul Dano are being added. Up next, what uh, people categories are going away in terms of directors? And there's only one. It's Adam McKay. Adam McKay is being removed. Um, there's just... Uh, there, there is a interest in Adam McKay. We just decided that we are going to be adding some new directors. And with that, we just had to remove something. And unfortunately, Adam McKay was just getting the short end of the stick. So Adam McKay is being removed out of the director category. And in repla replacing Adam McKay, um, we have several categories, actually. And the first one that is going away uh, to replace Adam McKay is... We have Nora Afron. She is coming as a category, and we are going to be including her writing and directing credits because the directing credits alone is pretty small filmography, but with the writing, it expands it. So we are having Nora Afron as her own category. We have Ivan and Jason Reitman, father-son duo in terms of directors. Their films will be their own category, Jason and Ivan Reitman. And finally, the category that you guys voted in the poll for the director's field, and I will say this, it was kind of a runaway. It was a blowout. It wasn't even close. You guys wanted James Cameron back. James Cameron was part of the category list like two years ago, I believe. We removed him, and now he's back. So um, it, it was a it was a landslide of a voting. Uh, James Cameron win it. So these three new groups, um, Nora Ephron, the Reitmans, and James Cameron are coming as directors starting next year. And now we go back to the final grouping, franchise slash fandoms. Uh, we uh, for this one, uh, you already know it the franchise stuff, the fandom stuff. So, once again, what fandom categories are going away? Oh no, Kermit is scared. So, let's see what, what categories are going away. As you all know, you know, nothing lasts forever. The fandom um, groups, there's a lot of people who like it, a lot of people who hate it, and unfortunately, because of that, we have to say. I'm just kidding. We're not we're not getting rid of anything. We're not getting rid of any of the fandom categories. Uh, all of them are staying. All of them are staying. No fandom categories are going away. But there are still some new changes for the fandom categories. So what changes are happening for the fandom categories? First of all, as we mentioned in a different live stream town hall, horror icons, which we already know the iconic three, Jason, Freddy, and Michael, a new icon is joining them. Um, Ghostface of the Scream franchise. So the additional uh, six Scream films um, is coming to Horror Icons, basically, potentially seven. Who knows what else is going to happen in the seven Scream franchise. But yeah, so the Horror Icons is going to be a new thing. And then aside from Horror Icons, what other fandom categories are being added? So we already mentioned the classic Universal Monsters. That's part of the fandom groups. We have creature features that's happening. And one more that, once again, you guys help vote and decide. And this was very close once again. But eventually, one other group uh, is prevailing and is going to be added for the fandom category for next year. 
and it is Explorers and Adventurers. And this is basically Indiana Jones franchise, Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, Chronicles of Narnia, National Treasure, Avatar, and Jumanji. And I believe that makes up like 20 films because there is five Indiana Jones, um, five Pirates, uh, three Chronicles of Narnia, two National Treasure, two Avatar as of now, and the three Jumanji movies. So that is going to be its own category as well. So I know there was a lot. Just a quick recap for all the category changes happening in RTFO. So once again, the removals, uh, period costume dramas, monster movies, and all those people right there, Jackie Chan, James Corden, Kate Blanchett, George Clooney, Julia Roberts, Matthew McConaughey, Nicole Kidman, Will Smith, and um, Adam McKay is being removed. And the additions, we have more additions and removals. Andrew Garfield, Tina, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, Kira Knightley, Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, Steve Carell, Anna Kendrick, Paul Dano, Nora Afron, The Reitmans, James Cameron, and the fandoms, classic Universal Monsters, Creature Features, Explorers Adventurers, and the new and uh, improved horror icons. So those are the changes happening in RTFO 2024. Uh, once again, for the fandom stuff, since those are specific groups, we have updated our ladder box and it will be linked in the description below and we will also share it in the discord so you can check the list of available films for that one we will not be making ladder box lists for the people filmography because you can just look it up yourself either through ladder box or uh, like wikipedia imdb whatever you use um just as specific fandom groups we will make it but yeah that is basically all the category changes that's happening in rtfo starting uh, starting next year. So that's exciting stuff. I know I'm excited for it. I know the admins are excited for it. I want to hear what you guys think. Uh, are you excited? Are you upset? Are you surprised by any of the changes? I want to let. I want to hear you guys either in the comment section or in the Discord. Um, you know what? Flood the Discord. The Discords have been kind of dead recently. I know you guys have finals and whatnot. But yeah, let's flood the Discord, get the discussion going. If you've seen this, maybe some people haven't, make the start a discussion there, and it will, maybe it will engage the people to check out uh, this this video to see the category announcement and whatnot. So yeah, do that. Help me out. Flood the Discord. Keep it active. But yeah, once again, if you have any questions, let us know in the Discord uh, section, uh, the Discord discussion, basically. And yeah, um, once again. This is basically it. I'm excited for RTFO next year. Lots of lots of exciting, lots of exciting stuff. Um, in addition, once again, outside of outside of all of this, we will have the same stuff that's happening at the beginning of next year with All Star Rumble. We're gonna have the awards and whatnot, and lots of exciting stuff. So make sure you tune in for that one. Make sure you look out for the announcement for that one. And yeah, check out all of our videos for the year. So year is wrapping up, exciting stuff. Um, but yeah, looking ahead to next year, that is what we got in store for you guys. So once again, thank you. Uh, and if we cannot make this without all your participation. Um, you guys make this happen. So once again, thanks guys. And we shall see you again next year in Real Trivia Face Off.